word, people. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy. Your boy. A whole lot of mercy. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of right now. I'm kind of thirsty. Yeah, man. I just want to build with you guys, man. Let's build, man. Can we build for a second? You know what I mean? You know? I've been thinking about words. You know what I'm saying? And I realize that words mean a lot. You know what I mean? More than what we think, man. You know? Like, everything was formed off a of word. You know what I'm saying? This world, we know it was formed off a of word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was him. Genesis. Read your Bible. My man, I used to think about, you know, like, this word called used to. I thought it was, in every content, it was negative. Because I didn't want to be a used to brother. You know what I'm saying? Or a used to ninja. You feel me? And, um... I realize, like, yo, how I look at things, once again, everything's in the um, peripheral, you know what I'm saying, um, um, perception, a different perception, depending on where you're looking at, a standpoint where you're at, it's like looking at something when you're 15, and then looking at it when you're 20 or 30, it's going to be different to you, you know, look at different stages in your life, you know what I mean, go back, keep going back within five to 10 year increments, and um, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, like, I didn't want to be that dude who used to have the nice whip. Used to have the nice fly girl. Used to have money in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Used to keep a job. Used to be able to be that dude. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess I'm looking at it from a different view. Because there's a lot of ways I can use used to that I want to use it. Like, I used to not have as much knowledge I got now. I used to not know things of what I come across now to be aware of. You know what I'm saying? Um, I used to be dumb. You know what I'm saying? I used to be a fool. I used to be taken for a fool. You see what I'm saying? Because when I'm using it like that, now it's like, it shows forth of growth. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, nobody wants to stay the same. So at a point, used to is good. You know what I mean? I used to not be doing so well. I used to not have this lookout on life that I do now. Some of us don't get to this point to where I'm at right now. And I'm hopefully, I'm blessing, I'm, I'm sending blessings your way, people who's watching that. You get that used to mentality the same way as I see it, meaning as positive as I used to not listen to moms and not take heed of, you know what I'm saying, right from wrong. I used to do things my own way and not look for greater guidance. You know, um, I used to be ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I can go on and on, man. So I dare you, you know what I'm saying, to like look at words in a different way. You know what I'm saying? I used to, you know what I'm saying? I used to not be as great or handsome as I am right now, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's showing this up. I'm grateful for where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? And um, I realized that I came across, I survived a lot of things that most wouldn't survive. You know what I'm saying? And um, the knowledge is this. I get to see, I have understanding through my knowledge because I, I wisdomed it. I went through it. I watched certain people, you know what I'm saying, that was beside me, you know what I'm saying, or above me, or a little behind me, go through what we all went through and make different choices. I mean, I was always taught a wise man learns from others' mistakes and not his own. And um, one thing I'm grateful for is being very observant, you know what I'm saying? Using these eyes very well, man, and using this mind. If I could help someone else out, I'm like, yo, bro, what you already got right now, you a trillion, quadrillion zillion, if that's a word, type of person. Meaning there's no money that should have value in your life. You know what I mean? Um, I heard a story before. Hold on. It said, Joe, if somebody offered you a trillion dollars today, right? You can get a trillion dollars. Any one of you, right now, they'll sign a check. No, they won't even sign a check. They're going to bring the Brinks truck to come to your house and drop off a trillion dollars. You want because you're gonna say yes to this question. They're gonna give you a trillion dollars for today. You live as a trillionaire. No, 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 a trillion enough. Quadrillionaire, quadrillionaire, huh? Bazillionaire. Here's the catch. All the money in the world, but you can't open up these tomorrow. You can't, you can't open your eyes tomorrow. They'll give you all the money you want. So tell me what's your life worth, man. That's what it's about, man. Because sometimes we don't even know how rich we are already. By you being eligible to listen and look and stop right now, 
You know what I'm saying? And through the knowledge on this recording that I'm giving to you, you're gonna realize that you have purpose, you know what I'm saying? And that um, don't take it for granted because you got that next Steve Jobs idea inside your head, that, that next Mark Zuckerberg, the next Ford Brothers, Wright Brothers, who created Flight. My man, you got a lot of these thoughts inside you that needs to come out inside this world. And it's like, don't sleep on it. I heard that one of the most potential and great ideas where you will find a place, the most potential and great ideas where you will find in one place is the graveyard. So many people slept on themselves and end up dying and leaving that information right here. So it's very important that we build, man. That's why this whole concept, what I got right here, called the Let's Build, because some people don't want to build with you. They don't want to show you nothing. They want to have something in return. You know what I'm saying? What you're giving me, sell you a course online. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I get you in line and I'm in line, we on the same path. We aligned. You see that, that word aligned, alignment. You know what I'm saying? If we align, man, everything goes well. You understand? It's when something's not aligned and it's derailed that something fails. You know what I'm saying? So if you get the knowledge I have, my man, you will know how to escape certain hurdles. You know what I mean? You want to be so much focused on losing your life, you will value yourself and you will value others. You know what I'm saying? When you value others and show appreciation, yo, some believe in karma. Some believe it says you just do. Whatever you may call it. I believe it's the law of the land, man. The Lord doesn't he, he doesn't make mistakes. You know what I mean? So one thing that tells you in the Bible was, you know what I'm saying? Um, treat your neighbor as you treat as you treat yourself. Whether you want to be religious or not, man, there's some things, man, we can learn from religions. You know what I'm saying? And from reading the word. It's like, yo. And that's what our constitution was built on. Even right now, we're slipping out. We're taking out different amendments. We're trying to change things up to man's view. But if we go back on how to treat each other, my man, we'll be living in peace. But what you don't understand is the person down here running things, running the things them, which is the enemy, which is the shaitan, which is the devil, you know what I'm saying? Who rules this world. That's why we all, not we all, but supposedly through the music, through the media, everybody's on demon time. And they're cool with it, man. And I want to show you to be on demon time, man. Be ready for negativity to come your way. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, it's as simple as that. How you want to live? The greatest feeling that we have, that one can obtain, is joy. All right? So we all have a certain amount of time on this earth. How you want to live it? You want to go through with joy. That's why I never really understood, like, even with, like, watching movies. I'm a movie man. People like horror. You know what I'm saying? It's like, the world has so much horrors already, man. I'm around real goons and goblins when I leave out this door. I got to pray to say, let me come back safely, right? So many people doing heinous crimes against each other. The killing, the robbing, the stealing, the um, the everything, man, <laughs> under the sun. I can go on and on. But nobody thinks about like, yo, what about that laugh and enjoyment? You know what I mean? I love comedy. You know what I'm saying? I like to laugh, man. They say something about that the endorphins that's produced when you laugh and smile. Yo, it's enough, you know what I'm saying, to fight off, you know what I'm saying, negativity. That's what, for the day, like, yo, for hours, I believe. So if you even start off your day with finding something to be happy about, smile, laugh, you know what I mean? Your body goes into a state and actually produces more white blood cells where you're eligible to fight things. That's a fact. So why is there so much things through TV, news, that's made to get you down, to worry, to be scared, you know what I'm saying? That's a state, a frequency that puts your mind into, your brain takes that in, right? And it's like, yo, I'm in survival mode and I'm not just in relax mode, enjoying mode, rebuilding mode. There's so many modes, but you can't get into it because you're in a negative state. You're worried too much. Worried about finances. Worried about your life. And you know what's the craziest thing? Most things we worry about never come forth into flourish into existence. Because that's how the devil moves, you know what I'm saying? Deception. You know what I'm saying? We're made to think about, oh, this is going to happen. Like, yo, we always think about the worst scenarios. That's why most people don't leave their job or to go start that new business, whatever you want to go do in life. Because you get comfortable with what you're doing already. And you're worried, you're worried that if I try this new thing, it's new, that maybe I won't accomplish, maybe I lose at it. Let me tell you this, man. If you don't try already, you already lose, man. You already failed, man. 
Let's build. Yo, the greatest achievers took risk. Everything is a risk, man. You was a risk being born to the world. You know what I mean? And I want to tell everybody, you are your successor. You know what I mean? Yo, I learned that not less than 500 million sperm cells on each ejaculation comes out of a male, man. It has to travel to hit that egg at the right exact time to impregnate a woman for you to be born, man. Yeah, you think that's... What? Come on, man. You think it's just probability that you here? You was designed to be here. You was the fastest swimmer already. You know what I'm saying? So everybody has a purpose. But what you don't understand is that you come inside this world. There's already things against you. And you may possess certain powers. And you got this knowledge inside your brain that you can give out that someone else needs to obtain. So there's already demon forces. There's already things that's like, we got to take this person out. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of great ones. Tupac, uh, Nipsey Hussles, Young Dolph. Yo, out of those, just artists I named myself, those was guys that was teaching people about building, owning community structures, being your own boss. You know what I'm saying? Not being um, ruled by just the money, but getting that money and giving back to the community. Nowadays, we're just about flashing, man. What do you think that causes, man? For the people who even have a cheeseburger or to even to get a, 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 a ham sandwich. Man, I grew up around people that used to eat buttered sandwiches, mayonnaise sandwiches. That's a fact. I remember going to school or being out on the streets. My next friend said, hey, I'll trade you a piece of my sandwich for yours. This is, this is real. This is so real. The person who I'm talking about probably goes back and finds this on the web. <laughs> Yo, I traded a sandwich one time, right? I believe I had like a turkey and cheese, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Or whatever it may be. But I definitely had some meat in my sandwich. This person's sandwich that I traded with, he literally, literally had just mayonnaise inside the sandwich, man. Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I'm talking about this is mayonnaise. I think I had mayonnaise and salt and pepper inside there, man. What I'm going to show you is, man, yo, don't get fooled, brothers. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. When I think about that concept, man, so it's like, yo, when you think you may not have something or what you have is the least, someone has less sir. Be appreciative. Gratitude is a must, people. You know what I'm saying? It's a must. I give my mom commandments, working hard, you know what I'm saying? Taking us from the ghetto, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I can go back into those. So I don't want to go too much into that, but I just want to say about people having that right mind frame of how to look at things, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody hold you down. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. You can't do anything. Words are powerful. They are spells. That's why it takes a thought process, right? And we have to put it in a right form first. We thought about it. And now I want you to understand what I've been thinking about. And to do that, if I don't talk it, I need to spell it out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm spelling it out while I'm talking the same way because you got to be careful of certain things you hear. That's why it's even... It's not so good to even watch certain movies and stuff because the same way there's demonic people in the world and people who praise, you know what I'm saying, Satan, man, there is real witchcraft going on. That's why everybody want to sage everything. Everybody want to bring a tarot card out. Everybody want to go to something and say the universe is doing this. They're taking out God out of everything, man. The universe didn't make itself. My man, come on, let's do the math, man. So what is in every single number, right? One is into every single number till 10, till 10, till the hundreds, till we can go on and so on, right? But what creates one? One came from something. So, I mean, that's something to be a creator is God, man. Let's get to it. They don't want to talk about it, but we got to get to it because it's factual. Scientists already went over this. It will have to be something that exists outside of nature to be God, to create, to be a creator. He would have to exist out of nature, out of time itself. That's why it says even in the Bible that God is beyond time, man. That's why when we think like, oh, he's not pulling through or something's going on or whatever it may be. It's like he's working, man. Even when you don't see that he's working, he's working. He never stops working. And he's always on point. He can't lie and he can't change. And he put, he put laws in place, laws that have to be followed. So sometimes we'll be like, oh, no, I don't want this to happen. Well, if that's my real God, like the devil, he tempted Jesus, when he was in the wilderness, right? Yahshua, you know what I mean? Yahweh, you can call him many names, right? The Messiah. To believe, you must, in the word, you must know it has to be a Messiah. You know what I mean? And it's like, 
he tried to tell him things to do to test God. And he used the word back at the devil. The devil knew the word. Long story short, what I'm coming at you is your enemy knows the word. He knows that there's a certain possession of a, a weapon that you can pick up that can defeat him. But since you don't choose to read or to know about it and it corrupted things so much, he's been perverting the word. You know I mean, so if you don't already know it now, right, somebody can be able to make up certain things and then even tell you what's in the Bible. Yo, there's a great movie, man. What's that movie with um, Denzel Washington? The Book of Eli, which basically the concept is you're going to take away all the Bibles in the whole world, which kind of kind of removing God out of the schools, out of the workplace, out of everything. But we can talk about LGBT, LGBTQ and whatever else. And people can put up certain things in the classroom and stuff, but you can't put up a cross. You can't do this. So think about that, man. There's so many powers that's against it. So that's why nowadays, we, like humans, we want to be our own God. We don't like nobody telling us nothing. Think about it. So, you know what I mean? It's like we're in a place right now that, yo, it's very important that we, we share the knowledge we have, man. You know what I mean? The elders need to get with the kids, the youth, them. We need to relay this knowledge. We need to be okay with agreeing to disagree. We need to be okay with, you know what I'm saying, hearing the no. No, I don't. Um, agree with what you're saying and then to continue to build on it. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to have Apple, which is our greatest creation right now in America throughout the world right now. You know what I'm saying? What Steve Jobs did was he brought people from all different platforms, right? From what I'm told or did the knowledge on so far is that you got people from the PC world. We got guys from India, all around the world who's been working on electronics and, com and computers, right? And we got their thesis on how to make the best computer. So never mind what just Hewlett Packard was trying to do, and then Anivo, and then we got um, a, um, IBM and all these different structures. He brought the top men from each place, put them in a room, gave them some coffee, some food, and said, let's get together and build this one. Never mind, I make this model to go against you next year or to what? And that's what he did, man, and came up with something that we would never have, man. You know why? Because they built, man. Right now, the world is against us building people. It's against me sharing knowledge with you. You know what I mean? Because maybe you have, you're on to a right track, right? But now I see where you was trying to get at. And I'm like, uh, no, that's not the right way. We actually should make the processor communicate this way, such and such. You know what I mean? If you get what I'm, that analogy, what I'm saying is that these, these people were the best in their fields. So you telling somebody else, no, I don't see it that way. And then Macintosh was saying they see it this way. You know I mean they were they were crossing over each other person's knowledge and what that and but they're doing it strategically and scientifically. And all scientists just, just want that science, right? So basically what they're like, yo, it makes sense. Once you can make it make sense to the man, now it's knowledge, we we hold that captive and we grow off of that. That's what we're supposed to be doing. So back to like how we're living. You know what I'm saying? If we know that how we're living, we've been living our own way, unruly. Not caring about nobody else but ourselves, being selfish individuals, right? What does it produce? These kids that's dehumanized, selfish. You floss so much meat in front of them, steaks and cheese, and they were eating that mayonnaise sandwich coming up. They'll do anything for that steak and cheese. Rob you kicking your mom's house, whatever. Because they seen some everybody else eating lovely and they were starving forever. Because we allowed them. You know what I mean? We can come up with greater ideas, man. I don't know who's been running all of this stuff, but I know that there's someone out there, even with the money that they have, they probably accumulated more wealth than we all could dream of, right? And they have the ability to get with other certain peoples and make better structures for the future. I'm begging all my scientists, um, people from all walks of kind, come through and let's think about better ways on how to educate ourselves and feed ourselves. I can't, we may not touch every single basis of what we believe in, but we can start with these things of making, um, of being pro-life. You know what I mean? Of taking the human species to that next level because right now we got other people trying to kill us all, end us. So we have to be the ones inclined and say, hold on, even think ahead of this, this program that's in place right now because it's a program. Half of the program is people not thinking individually. I mean, when you think about it, your phone thinks for you. AI is in effect. They say AI, you mean the artificial intelligence is more smarter than a human. It can hold how much um, memory and store how much intellectual content that it can be able to um, send these things faster than any human. You know, the actual thing what AI does, it, it rewrites its own program. So as we talk about a program, usually with a computer, man programs the computer, right? And gives it data, what it's supposed to know and how it's supposed to operate. 
Well, when you create AI, artificial intelligence, the computer structure actually takes on, remember its own mistakes to what always keeps rewriting its own software. And they tried this already to where even the, the makers couldn't even shut it down. That's why they're scared of making real self, a real self um, thinking robot. And they, they claim it will wipe out the masses of humanity. You know, go look back at Robocop, Demolition Man. These wasn't just for no reason because we're in these times now. So back on it with this AI structure, right? I remember the days, man, when people used to be able to calculate numbers <laughs> off their head, memorize them and know how to get through it, right? Same thing as with spelling now. Now because of spell check, now because you got calculator that, you mean, that does these things for you, the human brain is actually dumbing down. We was the walking computers. I mean, so we so much don't want to do nothing, we're dumbing our intellect down. I mean, it's not right, people. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. So with that said, there's only going to be a certain few of people on the top of the food chain between us humans that's going to know certain things, and they don't want to pass the other information on to us. You understand? You got to pay for it. You got to go to the college. You're only going to get that certain education when you go to Yale, Harvard, these certain Ivy League colleges. And that, that doesn't necessarily make you intelligent. That person who has a degree from Harvard or Yale is no different than me or you because you have a degree from your mother, your last name, your grandfather, right? That taught you about life because the real knowledge is about life preservation. What did they teach you? How to treat people? How to live a joyful life? You mean? Because certain things we don't really need to know, to be totally honest. I mean, more than half of it is trash. You understand? A lot of these things would be taught fake doctrines, and you can't even overcross them, cross examine them, because we don't have the knowledge, because we didn't learn. You understand? We didn't read. And um, one of the greatest things they ever gave us was being able to read. Because I was, as I was saying about words and words of spells, and watch what you say about yourself, the same way as. Once you learn to read, that's the reason why, you know, they first teach you alphabet as a kid, because to even understand, to pronounce these words we're saying, and to get these thought process out your mind, it all starts with a alphabet, you know, and from that alphabet, I can understand the information someone else that lived beyond my time frame, 100 years ago, I can read that book and get that knowledge, Albert Einstein, Socrates, you know what I mean, think about it, so they didn't want you to learn yourself. There was only certain people in possession of that, that, um, that power of reading at a time. That's why through slavery, they didn't want us to read. And a lot of people don't even follow um, the Bible, we call it the white men's dish, that's for, that's for black folks, I'll be honest, right? A lot of people will say, I don't want to learn about Jesus Christ, or to what, the third, or I don't want to learn about Muhammad, or whatever you're studying, right? And you got to go back further than that, because the Bible wasn't written in English first. The Bible had been here before English was even developed, man. English is still a new language throughout the whole world, man. But we don't want to build on that. You know what I mean? We have to learn about time frames, man. It's like how we're all tricked to think we're all different. Like, oh, you're a Dominican. This person's a Puerto Rican. This person's a Haitian. This person's a Jamaican or a Trinidadian. You're an Italian. And this person is from Portugal. My man, those are just languages. As we know right now, I can take a trip on a plane, right? With my pregnant wife, right? We could be black as ever. I can go to Ireland. I'm just going to Ireland for the weekend, people. I'm on business. Wife has the baby in the airport in Ireland. What is my kid? My kid is Irish. My kid is Irish because it was born in Ireland, man. All right, let's think about that. You see what I'm saying? The colonizers is the ones who put these things in place. We have to get out of the small space of thinking and think bigger because really we all one, one blood, man. You know what I mean? We all are the same. Now, to what extent? There is some of us that, you know what I'm saying? Our bloodline has been diluted, but we can get to that on a different page, not to go into who's inferior and superior. But I will tell you, for the most part, we are human, we are mankind, you know what I'm saying? And um, for us to get on the right track, never mind who was before us and who messed up, there's ways to do that. And how we're gonna do it is by building, man. It's by building, bringing your knowledge to the table with me, man, having that cup of coffee with some food. Lock us in the room, man. Here's a story. They brought a Spanish person in the room they brought a Chinese person in the room. They brought a French person in the room. 
and name someone else I can get, a Russian person in the room, all right? They all speak different languages, right? But they're all confined to this room, all right? They could be in prison. They can't leave, all right? Think about this concept. They have food, they have shelter, they all speak different languages. I'm t less than a year, give them even six months, they're gonna communicate with each other. They're gonna give them, they're gonna make their own language. And that's what we've been through, you understand? And why even certain language barriers is broken down between people because this, the Spanish person is gonna be saying, hey, siéntate, and the American person inside is gonna say, nah, sit. Siéntate, uh, sit, 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 sita, sita. Maybe they come up with that. I'm giving you a mind frame, I mean, because that's why it's broken down. It'll be half of what they're already saying to their self and me. But we're going to understand because after a while, we're going to use the next language besides your words, which is body language. When the kid don't understand sit, what do you do? Sit them down. You can make people understand love. Love is not just through words because you got to show it, right? I love you, right? Peace be on to you. Give you a hug. Embrace you. you can look at my face. Yo, I sincerely love you. I'm sorry for that. I'm totally sorry. If it's different, I'm sorry. And I'm back to my thing. If forget y'all, right, we'll leave it alone. All right, whatever, man. My B, my B. Is it really your B, your bag, or do you really mean to misunderstand that you take initial, you take understanding that you messed up? Is there any sincerity in that person when they speak like that? Yo, man, that's what I'm trying to tell you, man. So we gotta look at it like that because I was always taught to read body language. It's the first language you see even before words because people can lie with their words. Think about it. People say, I'm going to pay you back. <laughs> Never pay you back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, you may see sincerity, a real person coming back and showing you, oh, I get paid on this day. If you just give me so much time, I'm showing you my, my pay schedule, and I got this. I really have to pay this bill. The reason why I need this money right now, but I do know how I'm going to pay you. And that may be like, yo, I, you gave me some real understanding. This person is looking to pay me back. I mean, but even with that, I understand now I'm at, yo, I don't even lend out what I don't feel I would give. You know what I mean? If I lend a person $20, $100, $200, that was something I was already give to you. You know what I mean? Now I learned now because once again, used to, used to, I used to hold grudges to people who I really love, man. And be like, yo, this person said they're going to pay me back my 20. They're going to pay me back that, whatever I lent them, right? And it's like a spirit that's left on me because I'm mad. And then sometimes I'll realize and say, yo, why somebody I gave... I gave to and helped out because they told me it was in a time of need. Now I don't see them no more. You ever think like that? Whether family members or friends? Think about it. Only because you was close to me, you got to me. You asked for a certain thing and I gave it to you. And now you're like, oh, I don't want to see that person. Times I bumped into people later on. They're like, the reason why I haven't been around you or called you is because I didn't have it to give it to you. And I felt bad by being around you and can't give it to you. And I'd be like, what? So I lost you who I thought was a person I had love for, or you love me, or I got love for you, to something so little as that, and now I can't see you? It really hurt, man. Really hurt. Really hurt. You know what I'm saying? So now I realize that, you know what I'm saying? Somebody just needs something, I just say, if I can, do or not. And what I'm eligible to give for you, I give it to you. I Maybe mean, it's in the Lord's hands, man. I'm okay with losing that. If I gave you $100 to him, I'm okay with losing that. You tell me you're going to pay me, you don't pay me back, then I realize that our friendship level was not... There, you mean so you can never come back to me again? That's okay, take that, whatever the third, but you know you burnt your bridge. Now you can never come back to me for something. I also learned that it's great when you lose somebody off of a, a little bit of money or whatever time you put into that person compared to a lot. Hey, if a person was still 10, 20 bucks from you, even a dollar, and now you're making millions, they're gonna steal millions from you, man. You understand? That's a fact. If somebody will steal anything from you, if you're still from me out of my one bedroom apartment or just having a room, now when I have my house, I gotta look at that person. I can't leave them in a certain department of my house by themselves. Never mind your hair. You may take something. I got nice things. I like nice stuff. And I like nice people in my vicinity also. People I can trust. I mean, think about that, man. But certain people don't, they, they only know how to take, take, take. You know what I'm saying? And don't know how to make, make, make. So with that said, it's kind of our job in life to weed out those people. You know what I'm saying? And trust a person when they show you that. When they show you, when you when you see that you can give somebody something they don't pay you back, then you know you're not a person I can give to. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, just take that, take that knowledge for what it is, you know, and move on. That's the way you'll grow because you don't want to be bringing them in a circle so where you can lose more. 
You know what I mean? Take you on trips with me now where you see me get paid more and you're taking more things from me. You're going to be envying me. You know what I mean? So, yeah, people learn about those things. I'm that person who used to drop a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever it may be from a small kid on the floor. You know what I mean? And I will watch certain friends deny that they took it, but I put it there on purpose. Did you hear what I said? I put it there on purpose for a reason, all right? To be able to expose this person to know who their, what their character really is. I would drop a $5 or whatever it may be on the floor, one of my friends behind me. I go in my park like I'm a fool. No one there behind me. Then turn around like, oh, I was looking for that. And I will watch who would give it to me. You know what I mean? And if, and if they were to even to give it to me, then I'll even probably tell them to keep it or whatever in the third. And even let them know what I did and how I value their friendship because they did that. And there was others that stood up to ever. They, they, they will put it on their dead mother, dead grandparent, anything. I didn't do it. I promise you, man. Fake cries and everything. That person is evil. Yo, get away from that person. Any chance you get. And do it smoothly, too. Because more than likely, when you remove yourself from other people who know they've been eating off you, they're going to come at you with violence or some kind of way, knowing it's the last time they're going to see you. So sometimes you'll be like, oh, it's like that? Oh, I didn't really know that. I can try so many times to see if they're going to come and be honest with you. Then they call your phone, and next thing you know, do-do-do-do-do. You block them or you change your number on them. You start telling them little by little, I'm just too busy, I'm too busy, I'm too busy. They'll get the hint without me even saying I, I ain't rocking with you. I'm just too busy. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because I'm smart. I'm too smart. I'm too experienced. Like Baron, Barrington Levy said, I'm too experienced to be taken for a stroll. I'm too experienced. You see me? Too experienced. I got to understand the power I have and they don't have, man. I can see through them. You know what I'm saying? And by me seeing through them, I need to be able to understand I have that knowledge for a reason, which is to get away. It's like if you was in the wild and you knew how to escape lions and bears, right? You got that knowledge for a reason. So never mind you was telling someone else in the field, hey, you got to watch out as we're doing this or blah, blah, blah. They don't listen. Let them go to their own demise. I only can try to take you with me or give you the knowledge that I have. And that's it. The same thing when I say about us building at a table, coming together. If I bring the best people and, you know, uh, people who's about humanity, saving humanity, um, people who's about education, people who's about um, finance or whatever, sit them at tables. I guarantee you, man, we can make some great, some great discoveries that we never had before. You know what I'm saying? And we would be excelling as a human race, as one. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand how America is in debt, but we're supposed to be the most, you know what I'm saying, um, powerful nation and knowledgeable nation, right? I don't understand that. So we need to bring some people aboard to show people, like, they should be like a base plateau. There shouldn't even be no poor people. Like right now, gentrification throughout the cities and stuff, we're building up all these high rises and all that stuff. Every high rise you wanna build in this town you come to take over, that first floor need to have something towards the city before you even put any other shops or something like that. Something for the community where they can access. That first floor in the basement under there. Can the homeless people from that same town sleep there? Can you give beds? Can you make every single place a shelter or a bunker that after a certain amount of time at nighttime, they got to check in? And it don't have to be no nasty one. The same way you're building that nice place. They don't got to be like Rosie's place and all this, these other nasty places, you know what I'm saying? People deserve to have food, clothing, and shelter, all right? And if you don't make that possible for them, you will have violence, all right? And turmoil. And that's what's going on that we see right here, you know what I mean? We need some help. Would you help me? Would you help me help you? Then we can help our kids. That's the word today, people, man. Watch the words you're saying, man. Watch the spells that's told, that's told to you. People say you won't be nothing. You won't flourish. You're this, you're that. You're a used to guy. You're used to have, you're washed up. Nah, man, I used to think that way, but now I'm this. Clean yourself up. If I could put motivation in you today, I want to let you know that there is someone who knows you beyond you know yourself. Beyond if you're hooked to, a, uh, you're on an addiction, whether you're on that bottle or you're on different kind of drugs, addicted to sex, addicted to um, all different type of things, man. Some people just addicted to their self, don't want to help no others. They're addicted to getting things only to, to show others I have these possessions and put it in your face. Those people, they all have their days. It's all numbered, man. As I said once before, I never seen a Brinks truck follow a hearse. 
I know people who didn't love their family members and stuff like that, but their family members still had to bury them, man, and still had access to getting their clothes and garments, and they were all splitting and saying, I'm going to have this. They didn't even have wills in place and all type of stuff, man. Look how many self-made millionaires we've seen come out in the last couple of years through the pandemic, and then what about the ones that died? A lot of mysterious deaths happen, like especially with that crypto situation. I won't go into that too much right now, but do your research, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, man. People are dropping. And some of this stuff is planned. What about the people? The people who still care, man. Who still consider themselves human. You know what I'm saying? That want to learn how to live and be able to give this to their kids. You know what I'm saying? To be able to grow a nice community. You know what I'm saying? So we can live in unity. There was a time where your kid can go outside and even the next person from the next block, never mind the same building or street, will look after your kid. Now you gotta watch anybody. They may take your kid. So much human trafficking, girls is being is, is being trafficked, trafficked. We don't even know uh, um, anything about a lot of these girls in the last couple of years. They've never been found. And they were mostly min minorities. Look into it. Look into the whole Disneyland scandal. Disneyland, where we bring our kids to, man, and think it's safe. Think about that last kid that was like, I can't find mommy, and went to go talk to the security person, you know? The was supposed to be like, oh, come with me, I got you, no problem. We're gonna go page mommy at the place up here. Man, they took you and sold you into a van. So, put you in a van and sold you the highest bidder. But nobody wants to talk about that, man. And I understand it's deep, man, but we got some evil people in the world, and we need the good people to get together and build, right? So we can learn how to overthrow evil. Because good will already overthrow people. There's already more good people than the wicked here. So if I can build and get us together on one accord, the powers will magnify and will take out the evil. All right? That's the vision I got. That's what I've seen. You know what I mean? I don't really care about, you know what I'm saying, um, doing this, what I'm doing right now, for like money or finances of that nature, right? I really care about getting these things off my head so I don't have these great ideas and be one of them people that's in the graveyard. That had so many great ideas and then die with it. I can tell my children, and I'm already building them. They're going to be something awesome. They already are for this world, something awesome. I'm, I'm already leaving jewels on this planet for after I'm gone. They're going to continue to move in the different kind of way of the world with love, peace. I, I feel like I have the obligation that I have to give it to others as well. You understand? It can't just be this household. You know what I mean? Because I'm not just want peace and unity in this household. It's also when I leave out of here and I go to the grocery store. You know what I mean? When I go to the restaurant, when I go to the school, the job, anywhere. I mean, we need it in a sentence office. We need compassion as human beings, which we don't have no more. It's more about who made more money. I got this and you don't have this. Instagram is, is killing families. So if I can use it, when I learned the same tool the devil use. You ain't got nothing that God didn't give to create. So even what we're like, oh, that's, I can't really say Instagram is evil. Evil people are using it. But guess what? Some good people need to use it too. Facebook is evil. Nah, good people need to use Facebook. Yo, I'm glad for the certain followers that I have that I'm like, yo, I noticed more and more this year, right? I got a lot of more motivators, man. I got a lot of women who's praying. They be even praying like whoever's reading this, I bless your day. Simple things like that. When you say those things, you leave me with like, oh man, I don't even know you, but hey, think about it. The average person don't want to click on half of the things that you're posting. But now if it's pertaining towards them, you're wishing them well, their loved ones well, anybody who have their family sick, you touch this right here to pray for your whole family to be well. No disease or sickness will come across you. That's what I'm praying for anybody watching this. No disease or sickness will come across your household or separation from you and your loved ones by you being able to watch and listen to this. If you made it to the end right here, you're a special one. Because I know that people's intention span is zero to none. All right? The average kid listens for 45 seconds, if that. And they're done. What's the next thing? So, my man, let's bring it back, man. Let's bring it back to building, man. Bring it back to the table, man. That's the word from your boy today, man. Comment two things that you agree with. You mean? If there's anything I said that you agree with, and you want to speak on, or even, you know what I'm saying, maybe elaborate on to add your own two cents on, or where it can even be higher of what I said. Like, maybe I stopped at a certain plateau, and you're like, yeah, that's cool, but add on. I'm all about adding on. Come to the table so we all can eat. It's like Thanksgiving, man. I bring the meat. You bring the greens. This person brings the mac.
You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, man, because right now, we're under attack. I'm signing off, man. Salute. It's your boy. A lot of mercy. Blessings to us all.